What's up guys, today we are going to be taking a look at another Bluetooth speaker. This is a $20 wooden speaker and it actually performs great and looks great for only $20. So let's go ahead, get started, and take a look at it. Alright guys, so this is the speaker and as you can see it's pretty small, it's about the size of a tissue box, just it has a little bit different dimensions. And unfortunately this is not actually made out of wood, it's made out of medium density fiberboard. And it has a yellow wood skin wrapped on top of that. So that is kind of disappointing, however it does pump out some pretty good sound. It has two 5 watt drivers so this is a 10 watt Bluetooth speaker. And 10 watts really isn't too shabby for a $20 speaker. But anyway, the design of it is pretty nice. On the front you have those two 5 watt drivers and then on the top you have all of your buttons, switches, and input ports. So first off you have a TF slot so you can take a micro SD card, place some audio files on it, and then put it in the speaker. And it just makes it easier to listen because you don't have to actually pair your phone through Bluetooth. Next up we have the aux input port which in my opinion is not in a good spot. It looks very ugly having a cable come out of the top of the speaker. I think it would look a lot better if it was like any other speaker and had the port on the back. Next up we have the micro USB charging port which is for charging the built in 2200 milliamp battery. And just to let you know the battery lasts usually about 6-10 to 10 hours depending on what volume you use it on. So if you use it at full volume then you're probably going to get about 6 hours and if you use it at low volume then you can get all the way up to 10 hours. Now of course with those you also have the power switch, the volume down button, the play and pause button, the volume up button, and the mode button. The mode button switches you between the micro SD card and Bluetooth mode. And last is the microphone, and the microphone actually works pretty well. The person on the other end can hear you, and you can hear them perfectly. So I'm going to play you guys a quick little clip to give you an idea of how well the microphone works. Thank you for calling. Yeah, how can I help you? Hey, I've got a question. So I'm kind of on a budget, but um, I heard that you guys are having a sale on laptops. Do you have any Windows 13 laptops under $300? Um, I'm sorry, do we have... A Windows 10 laptop, do you mean? No, Windows 13. I'm not sure what Windows 13 is. We only sell computers with Windows 10. I, my buddy across the street has a Windows 13 laptop, are you sure? Yes. It's got a, a bar on the left and uh, some icons on that bar, and then it's got a purple background. Highest it goes is Windows 10, so I'm not sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, bye. Now obviously guys, I'm not that dumb, I know there's no Windows 13, I was kind of just messing around. I just wanted to show you that both ends are able to hear each other perfectly fine, so the microphone does work well. Now in terms of sound, it's pretty good. Like I mentioned before, this is a 10 watt speaker, so it can easily fill a medium sized room with sound. And the sound quality itself is actually pretty good as well. But once it passes a certain point, it does tend to get a little distorted. If you take a look at the picture on screen, you can see that the volume marker is about a little bit more than 3 fourths of the way turned up. So if you go anything past that, that's when the audio starts to get distorted. Now probably the best way for me to show you how good the audio is, is just to play a little clip for you. So that's what I'm going to do. But keep in mind that this is not going to be as good as the original because this is going from the speaker through a microphone and out your speakers. So just keep in mind that there might be a slight difference and that it's probably better in real life than it is through your speakers. Now in my opinion that sounded pretty good, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, overall though, I think this is a good speaker, especially for $20. I think the design is great, the sound on here is especially great as well. And the price, $20 for this speaker, is definitely not bad, so I think it's a good deal. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more videos. On this channel, we make all sorts of reviews on technology, gadgets, and really anything else that seems interesting. So like I said, make sure to subscribe for that. Also, my Twitter name is on screen, so make sure to follow me on there as well. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.